will be making enchiladas. Enjoy the show. First, we'll need tortillas. We'll need chicken. Next, we'll need two different types of cheeses. One for the top and one for the we'll inside. Some beans. We'll need salsa. Assembly time. And this is a really easy recipe because all you need is a few ingredients and a microwave. Or you could cook it in the oven if you want to have higher quality crunch, but this make is easier for now. Yeah. But if you do it in the oven, make sure you have adult tortilla. First thing you're going to want to do is heat up the tortilla in the microwave for a couple seconds. So it's easier to form. So now that the tortilla is done, we're going to put the beans in for like a minute. Just so they're warm enough to go in the tortilla. And then so. we're also going to be putting the chicken in the microwave. Just look at the uh, frozen chicken times and you'll see what how long you're supposed to do it, but we're not totally sure at the moment. Okay. We're gonna put these in for about a minute and we'll see if they're warm enough. If they're not, I recommend adding 15 to 30 seconds depending on how you feel about it. Now we're gonna put the chicken on the plate and since it's frozen chicken, it takes about three to four minutes to cook. But that's to fully cook. So if you're yeah. fully cooking, do three to four. For us, since we're just heating up, and we're also going to be cooking it in the enchilada. We're going to start with about one minute. No, we're going to do like, uh, I did three and a half, so we're going to do three and a half uh, for the chicken. This is to ensure that it's nice and warm when you go in, when it goes into the enchilada, and it's not too soggy or anything. Yeah, but in the end, we'll end up cooking the whole entire enchilada. Okay. Okay, just okay now, so now it's time to put in the delicious chicken. Do it for three minutes and 30 seconds. Perfect. For the chicken, we're gonna slice some cheese up for the top of the enchilada. Let's get finish cutting the cheese, and this is the result. Four slices. If you want more, obviously do more for the top, but this is just how we want it to do. Yeah. Um, now, now let's check on the chicken. Let's go check on the chicken. Ours, it only took about two and a half, two minutes to finish up. We thought three and a half, but this one just happened to be quicker. So now we're gonna start assembling our enchiladas. Okay, we're gonna make two enchiladas. We're gonna make a big one and a little little one. So we're gonna start by putting our refried beans or whatever kind of beans you have. So um, black beans, pintos, they'll all work the same, but refried's better so you can have the a nice chicken will stick. Stick to, it. to the bottom and you don't have everything going everywhere. And make sure to like um, lean everything to the middle of the tortilla. So you can fold it easier when you're yeah. finishing it. Or okay. roll it up. And this is not a burrito, guys. Might seem like it's going to turn out as a burrito, but it's not. Now we're going to put our couple slices of chicken. You don't need much since you already have the cheese. I don't think. I think that's a good amount. That's a good amount. Four slices about. And then we have to do the other one. And okay. Then, and now time for the cheese. That should and be we don't want too much cheese on the inside because there's, there's going to already be, be a ton on the top. Yes. And now then, time for the salsa. So you don't put the salsa on the inside. Okay, we'll put the salsa on the outside. Yes, yeah, but we do that in the end. Okay, and the good hack that we've learned is that if you take a little bit Our of mom taught beans, us this, by the way. If you take a little bit of beans there, it will close it just like that. And look, it's, and look at, it's open at both ends, so it is an enchilada. And since we're putting cheese and salsa on top, that's another reason. And see, look how perfect it is. It's it nice just and stuck. closes up just like that. Now we're going to make okay. our second one off camera because we've showed you the uh, quick process. Okay. So at first on the second one, we put a little bit too much filling, but we fixed it now, and uh, it's nice and full of it. So now we're going to start by putting on the cheese, and then the last part will be putting on the salsa. So uh, you might want to break up like the big pieces of cheese there. But if you like really it. want to, you could just have them all in one thing. This looks like a lot of cheese, but when it's melted, it's going to be a little bit less than what you originally thought. Now for the salsa open. Oh, that's nice. Nice. But we don't put the salsa on till the very end because the salsa isn't very good cooked. So let's go put this in for a minute. And, and then we'll see if that's enough and go more if you if you guys really yeah. want. So you want to put the salsa in at the very end so then it's still somewhat warm, but not too bad. So we already have a minute on the clock. So, so we're, we're just, just going to start it right off. We're just going to press one start. minute and start. 
Okay, there it is. We'll see you in the next. These look amazing. Don't those look like the best, most simple homemade enchiladas you've ever seen? Okay, so now we're just going to add a little bit of salsa. And on top. Um, we're also going to put some raspberries on a separate small bowl so you can have a little bit of fruit in there. Fruit's very important. Here's the raspberries. Right. Okay. Well, time to pour a little bit. It's a little bit runny, but that's good enough. Okay. No, you need a little more on the other one. That's good. Time to wash the raspberries. Okay, guys, that is the end of the video. We see hope you, you enjoyed, in the next one. and we see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Hey guys, this is another quick clip explaining what we're going to be doing. We're not going to be making a new channel, but simply changing the name of our current channel. Please provide ideas in the comment section below that can help us figure out a new name. Um, so our new schedule will be, we'll be filming dog videos uh, Tuesday and Fridays, and we'll be filming cooking videos Mondays and Thursdays. Let us know what you think about this. And also video. videos coming out on the weekends just like normal. Yes. Bye guys.